you'll notice it says box so this will actually act like a box but we don't want that we want it to act like a cone so if you click on this menu you can hit cone and if you have obscure objects you can hit triangle mesh or convex hull whichever one works better but they're not as accurate so this will act like a cone now so uh, if, if now, now you'll notice that down here, it added a whole bunch more settings. So if you didn't decide to make it a rigid body, you can just uh, edit these location um, properties right here, but I'm gonna use the velocity. So since we want this cone traveling this way through the building, uh, so the way we're gonna do that is uh, we're gonna, um, we're going to, um, sorry, uh, we're going to make it so that the linear velocity, let's say negative five, and let's see how that works. And that should uh, that should make it go through the building. Yep. So, but that's really not very fast, and it can't really get through the building. So, to make it faster, we're going to go negative 15. Now this is x, y, and z uh, velocities and same with location if you're using location. So let's hit p again. Yeah it kinda it kinda it's like kinda nudges its way through the building. We want it to fly through the building. The way we do that is we go over here to its physics settings. Increase the mass by 50 and if you're using a static object you don't really have to do this but now it'll just go right through the building um, so it goes right through the building but if you want to edit this more without having to simulate the whole building fall down every time hit M move to layer let's go to now you'll notice that there's a dot on this which means well, since it's yellow it means that your selected object is on that layer and that means that there are objects on that layer so now if you hit P you can just see how fast it's moving it's a good reference thing so let's make that negative 25 yeah I like that better so let's back this up a little bit so P yep that looks good um, now we're gonna to make them both to make kinda combine both layers you hit shift and that have both layers selected um, now if we hit P it'll just it'll start flying and right through the building okay so we have that down um, now we want to record the animation and have it record all the keyframes let's get rid of this window first because it's kind of annoying we're going to so we want this Except we want to be able to render it and record it, but you'll notice down here at the and or at yeah the animation um, or the timeline here it doesn't do anything when we move this. So the way to do this is you want to save this because we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate this and except we're gonna record everything onto the timeline. And once you do that, all the keyframes for every object are set, and you can't really delete them. So if you want to go back and change something like the position of your cone here, uh, you can't really you can't do that. So you want to you want to save different versions. You want to save non-simulated version and a simulated version. Now, all right. So we're gonna go record animation. So go up here, game, record animation, and now this time when we render. I mean when we simulate, so press P, uh, you'll notice it goes kind of a lot slower. That's just because it's recording every single frame and not skipping frames. So here it goes, wait for, if just you just kind of got to wait, because a lot of this is just waiting. Um, stop it when you think it's all done. Now, there we go. Okay, so now you can kind of zoom around and stuff. Um, but you'll notice that the keyframes go way past the uh, frame 250 when we're supposed to stop recording our animation. So I find kind of the point where the last keyframe is. 
it says right down here 440 so we're going to change the end to 440. So now our our whole uh, work area is 440 frames long or 441 frames long. So you have this whole cube that's all good um, and you can kind of play it while you know you're while it's happening and I think that's kind of cool.